day 248, Ezekiel 28 through 31. This is just the word where we are reading chronologically through the Bible in a year, day 248 of 365, New King James Version, starting with Ezekiel chapter 28. The word of the Lord came to me again, saying, Son of man, say to the prince of Tyre, thus says the Lord God, because your heart is lifted up and you say, I am a God, I sit in the seat of gods in the midst of the seas, yet you are a man and not a God. Though you set your heart as the heart of a God, behold, you are wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that can be hidden from you. With your wisdom and your understanding, you have gained riches for yourselves and gathered gold and silver in your treasuries. By your great wisdom in trade, you have increased your riches. Your heart is lifted up because of your riches. Therefore, thus says the Lord God. Because you have set your heart as the heart of a God, behold, therefore, I will bring strangers against you, the most terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of your wisdom and defile your splendor. They shall throw you down into the pit. You shall die the death of the slain in the midst of the seas. You will stay. You will stay. I'm sorry. You will still say before him who slays you, I am a God. But you shall be a man and not a God. In the hand of him who slays you, you shall die the death of the uncircumcised by the hands of aliens. For I have spoken, says the Lord God. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation for the king of Tyre and say to him, Thus says the Lord God, You were the seal of perfection full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Very precious, every precious stone was your covering. The sardius, topaz, and diamond, beryl, onyx, and jasper, sapphire, turquoise, and emerald with gold. The workmanship of your timbrels and pipes was prepared for you on the day you were created. You were the anointed cherub who covers. I established you. You were on the holy mountain of God. You walked back and forth in the midst of fiery stones. You were perfect in your ways from the day you were created till iniquity was found in you. By the abundance of your trading, you became filled with violence within and you sinned. Therefore, I cast you as a profane thing out of the mountain of God, and I destroyed you, O covering cherub, from the midst of the fiery stones. Your heart was lifted up because of your beauty. You corrupted your wisdom for the sake of your splendor. I cast you to the ground. I laid you before kings that you might gaze that they might gaze at you. You defiled your sanctuaries, but the multitude of your by the multitude of your iniquities, by the inquiry by the iniquity of your trading. Therefore, I brought fire from your midst. It devoured you, and I turned you to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all who saw you. All who knew you among the peoples are astonished at you. You became a horror and shall be no more forever. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, Set your face toward Sidon and prophesy against her and say, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, O Sidon. I will be glorified in your midst, and they shall know that I am the Lord. When I execute judgments in her and am hollowed in her, for I will send pestilence upon her and blood in her streets. The wounded shall be judged in her midst by the sword against her on every side. Then they shall know that I am the Lord and there shall be and there shall no longer be a prickling briar or a painful thorn for the house of Israel from among all who are around them, who despise them. Then they shall know that I am the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God. When I have gathered the house of Israel from the peoples among whom they are scattered and am hallowed in them in the sight of the Gentiles, then they will dwell in their own land, which I gave to my servant Jacob. 
and they will dwell safely there, build houses and plant vineyards. Yes, they will dwell securely when I execute judgment on all those around them who despise them. Then they shall know that I am the Lord, their God. Chapter 29. In the tenth year, in the tenth month, on the twelfth day of the month, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face against Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and prophesy against him, and say against and prophesy against him and against all Egypt. Speak and say, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I am against you, O Pharaoh, king of Egypt, O great monster who lies in the midst of his rivers, who has said, My river is my own. I have made it for myself. But I will put hooks in your jaws and cause the fish of your rivers to stick to your scales. I will bring you up out of the midst of your rivers, and all the fish in your rivers will stick to your scales. I will leave you in the wilderness, and you and all the fish of your rivers, you shall fall on the open field and you shall not be picked up or gathered. I have given you as food to the beasts of the field and to the birds of the heavens. Then all the inhabitants of Egypt shall know that I am the Lord, because they have been a staff of reed to the house of Israel. When they took hold of you with the hand, you broke and tore all their shoulders. When they leaned on you, you broke and made all their backs quiver. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, surely I will bring a sword upon you and cut off from you a man and beast. And the land of Egypt shall become desolate and waste. Then they will know that I am the Lord, because he said the river is mine and I have made it. Indeed, therefore, I am against you and against your rivers, and I will make the land of Egypt utterly waste and desolate from Migdol to Sai Sion, as far as the border of Ethiopia. Neither foot of man shall pass through it, nor foot of beast pass through it, and it shall be uninhabited forty years. I will make the land of Egypt desolate in the midst of the countries that are desolate, and among the cities that are laid waste. Her cities shall be desolate forty years, and I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations and disperse them throughout the countries. Yet, thus says the Lord God, at the end of forty years, I will gather the Egyptians from the peoples among whom they were scattered. I will bring back the captives of Egypt and cause them to return to the land of Pathros, to the land of their origin, and there they shall be a lowly kingdom. It shall be the lowliest of kingdoms. It shall never again Exalt itself above the nations, for I will diminish them so that they will not rule over the nations any more. No longer shall it be the confidence of the house of Israel, but will remind them of their iniquity when they turn to follow them. Then they shall know that I am the Lord God. And it came to pass in the twenty seventh year, in the first month, on the first day of the month, that the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, caused his army to labor treacherously against Tyre. Every head was made bald, and every shoulder rubbed raw. Yet neither he nor his army received wages from Tyre for the labor which they expended on it. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Surely I will give the land of Egypt to Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon. He shall take away her wealth, carry off her spoil, and remove her pillage. And that will be the wages for his army. I have given him the land of Egypt for his labor, because they have worked for me, says the Lord God. And that day I will cause the horn of the house of Israel to spring forth, and I will open your mouth to speak in her midst. Then they shall know that I am the Lord. Chapter 30. The word of the Lord came to me again, saying, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus says the Lord God. Wail, woe to the day, for the day is near, even the day of the Lord is near. It will be a day of clouds, the time of the Gentiles. The sword shall come upon Egypt, and great anguish shall be in Ethiopia. When the slain fall in Egypt, and they take away her wealth, and her fountains are broken down. Ethiopia, Libya, Lydia, 
all the mingled people, Chub and the men of the land who are allied shall fall with them by the sword. Thus says the Lord, those who uphold Egypt shall fall. The pride of her power shall come down from Migdol to Sion. Those within her shall fall by the sword, says the Lord God. They shall be desolate in the midst of the desolate countries, and her cities shall be in the midst of the cities that are laid waste. Then they will know that I am the Lord when I set a fire in Egypt and all her helpers are destroyed. On that day, messengers shall go forth from me in ships to make the careless Ethiopians afraid and great anguish shall come upon them as on the day of Egypt, for indeed it is coming. Thus says the Lord God, I will also make a multitude of Egypt to cease by the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. He and his people with him, the most terrible of the nations, shall be brought to destroy the land. They shall draw their swords against Egypt and fill the land with the slain. I will make the rivers dry and sell the land into the hand of the wicked. I will make the... I will make the land waste and all that is in it by the hand of aliens. I, the Lord, have spoken. Thus says the Lord God, I will also destroy the idols and cause the images to cease from Noph. There shall no longer be princes from the land of Egypt. I will put fire in the land of Egypt. I will make Petros desolate, set fire to Zoan and execute judgments in No. I will pour my fury in sign the strength of Egypt. I will cut off the multitude of No and set a fire in Egypt. Sign shall have great pain. No shall be split open and Noph shall be in distress daily. The young men of Avin and Pi Beseth shall fall by the sword and these cities shall go into captivity. At Tihafnes, the day shall also be darkened. When I break the yokes of Egypt there, and her arrogant strength shall cease in her, as for her, a cloud shall cover her, and her daughters shall go into captivity. Thus I will execute judgment on Egypt. Then they shall know that I am the Lord." And it came to pass in the eleventh year, in the first month, on the seventh day of the month, that the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, I have broken the army of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and see, it has not been damaged, it has not been bandaged for healing, nor a splint put on it to bind it, to make it strong enough to hold a sword. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Surely I am against Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and will break his arms, both the strong one and the one that was broken, and I will make the sword fall out of his hand. I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations and disperse them throughout the countries. I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon and put my sword in his hand, but I will break Pharaoh's arms and he will groan before him with the groanings of a mortally wounded man. Thus I will strengthen the arms of the king of Babylon, but the arms of Pharaoh shall fall down. They shall know that I am the Lord. When I put my sword into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he stretches it out against the land of Egypt, I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations and disperse them throughout the countries. Then they shall know that I am the Lord. Chapter 31. Now it came to pass in the eleventh year, in the third month, on the first day of the month, that the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, say to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and to his multitude, Whom are you like in your greatness? Indeed, Assyria was a cedar in Lebanon, with fine branches and shaded, that shaded the forest, and of high statue, and its top was among the thick balls. The waters made it grow. Underground waters made it it height. Underground waters gave it height with their rivers running around the place where it was planted and sent out rivulets to all the trees of the field. Therefore, its height was exalted above all the trees of the field. Its balls were multitude and its branches came long because 
became long because of the abundance of waters as it sent them out. All the birds of the heavens made their nest in its balls. Under its branches, all the beasts of the field brought forth their young. And in its shadow, all great nations made their home. Thus, it was beautiful in greatness and in the length of its branches, because its roots stretched to abundant waters. The cedars in the garden of God could not hide it. The fir trees were not like its balls, and the chestnuts trees were not like its branches. No tree in the garden of God was like it in beauty. I made it beautiful with a multitude of branches, so that all the trees of Eden envied it. That were in the garden of God. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have increased in height and it set its top among the thick balls and its heart was lifted up in its height. Therefore, I will deliver it into the hand of the mighty one of the nations and he shall surely deal with it. I have driven it out for its wickedness and aliens, the most terrible of the nations, have cut it down and lift it. And left it, its branches have fallen on the mountains and in all the valleys. Its balls lie broken by all the rivers of the land and all the peoples of the earth have gone from under its shadow and left it. On its ruin will remain all the birds of the heavens and all the beasts of the fields will come to its branches so that no trees by the waters may ever again exalt themselves for their height, nor set their tops among the thick balls that no tree with that no tree which drinks water may ever be high enough to reach upon it. For they have all been delivered to death, to the depths of the earth, among the children of men who go down to the pit. Thus says the Lord God, in the day when it went down to hell, I caused mourning. I covered the deep because of it. I restrained its rivers and the great waters were held back. I caused Lebanon to mourn for it and all the trees of the field wilted because of it. I made the nation shake at the sound of its fall when I cast it down to hell among when I cast it down to hell together with those who descended into the pit, all the trees of Edom, the choice and best of Lebanon, all that drink water were comforted in the depths of the earth. They also went down to hell with it, with those slain by the sword, and those who were in its strong arm dwelt in its shadow among the nations. To which of the trees is Eden? To which of the trees in Eden will you then be likened in glory and greatness? Yet you shall be brought down with the trees of Eden to the depths of the earth. You shall lie in the midst of the uncircumcised with those slain by the sword. This is Pharaoh and all his multitude, says the Lord God. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word. That was day 248, Ezekiel 28 through 31.